We have two quadratics, neither of which have distinct real solutions. Quadratics can have as many as two distinct solutions. That means these quadratics have either one or zero real solutions. This suggests a role for the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. If, it, if the discriminant is equal to zero, then it has one real solution. If the discriminant is less than less than zero, then there are no real solutions. So we combine these and we find that the discriminant is less than or equal to zero for both of these quadratics. So for the first quadratic, x squared plus bx plus c equals zero. The discriminant is b squared minus 4ac, a is one, so minus 4c. And we want this to be less than or equal to zero. And then for our second quadratic, x squared plus cx plus b equals zero. Our discriminant here is c squared minus 4ab, or four times one times b, which we also want to be equal to zero. We notice that we have b in both of these inequalities. So let's, um, let's solve for b in both of these and see what our um, bounds are on b. So for our first inequality, we have b squared is less than or equal to 4c. And uh, b and c, they tell us, are positive integers. So we can say that b is less than or equal to 2 times the square root of c. Likewise here, if we solve for b, we have 4b is greater than or equal to c squared. So b is greater than or equal to 1 fourth c squared. Combining these two, we have that b is bound by 2 root c on top and 1 fourth c squared on the bottom. So uh, there aren't too many values that are going to satisfy this. So let's take um, some different values of c. We'll calculate 1 fourth c squared and we'll calculate 2 times the square root of c and see what integers b um, fit in between that. So uh, c is a positive integer, so we'll start with 1. That means c squared over 4 is 1 fourth. 2 times the square root of c is 2. So b is between is an integer between 1 fourth and 2, so that would be 1 and 2. Let's try c is equal to 2, the next positive integer. c squared over 4 is 1. 2 times the square root of c, that's approximately 2 times 1.4 or um, 2.8. So we're looking for integers between 1 and 2.8 inclusive. So again, we have 1 and 2. Let's try c is equal to 3. That's 9 fourths or 2 and a fourth. And then 2 times the square root of c is approximately 2 times 1.7, which is 3.4. So we're looking for positive integer values of b that are greater than 2 and a fourth and less than 3.4. So that's just 3. When c is 4, that gives us c squared over 4 is 4. And then 2 times 2 is 4, which means b is equal to 4. I've got a feeling. When we get to 5, this is that we're not going to have a valid b anymore. This is 25 over 4, or 6 and 1 fourth. And then we have 2 times the square root of 5, which is going to be um, less than, let's see, well, this will be like a little more than 2 times 2, but it, it definitely will be um, less, than, um, um, less than 6. So we have, you know, our, our lower bound is greater than our upper bound, so we're not going to have any valid um, values of b. Let's count our ordered pairs. We have 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, and 4, 4. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ordered pairs. And that's the answer.